Hello, Reverend Steve Morris here. I'm going to read from uh, my book, Frontline Advent, Daily Thoughts, Prayers and Encouragements for Advent. And the theme is hope. And this is from the first Monday each uh, day during Advent. We have a reading of some kind. It's Psalm 42, beginning at verse 4. These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. It's a question I've often asked myself. Why, my soul, are you downcast? The poet seems to be feeling down because he's remembering times when he was happy, and they seem a long time ago. Most of us have felt that way during lockdown. The old simple pleasures have been taken away. We couldn't even go to church, which seemed particularly cruel. Sometimes we look back on times when we felt very close to God and we mourn that a gap seems to have opened up between us and him. It can feel something rather like grief. But Advent is about hope and faith. Remember, though, that hopes near siblings our darkness and fear, the Advent journey, includes all of these because it's time to be open about where we are and how we feel. We approach the joyous day of Christmas, but first we go through the valleys and the difficulties. I suppose no pilgrimage worth its salt is straightforward. There are times for all of us when we feel like giving up and the going gets too hard. Seeing these Advent weeks as a pilgrimage is helpful because all like all pilgrimages, it doesn't do to do the thing alone. In this week, we hear the shouts of hope and joy that the writer of the psalm mentions only faintly. We hear them, as it were, from the other room, from the distant mountain, but they're there. And just because we might be downcast, it doesn't mean that we won't experience them and the hope that comes again. Of course, all the poet's hope is in God. The whole lot.